week, uh, a lot of publicity about the issue. Why has it been so difficult to get Nicky around the table with the St Kilda Football Club? Well, I think it's fairly said. Um, the, the, first, the first problem started uh, when he did ring up on the Friday night and said he would play footy, and, and the coach said, well, you've made your grave, you can now lie on it, which is a great start if, if you're going to try and get a bloke back. Um, so from there it's gone downhill. But uh, I rang again on Friday to say that uh, you know, we'd be pleased to talk, and I you know, tried, tried to get a time at about 5 o'clock, and, uh, and they rang back and said, well, five's not really uh, good for us, and then I find out they've got a press conference. So... So you reckon Nicky's been hardly done by, do you? Well, um, well, it's well, do you know, you? really him that uh, thinks, you know, that he has been. Yeah. No, you. What do you reckon he's well, been I hardly done by? Well, I think he has by? as well. Yeah. Are you embarrassed to ask St Kilda for the amount of money your client wants? No. So the six hundred and fifty thousand bucks, where did all that come from? Well, the six hundred and fifty, I certainly didn't, didn't ask for. So. Well, what are we asking for generally? Well, it's none of your business, Sam, and you know that because you don't tell me anything about your financials. Yeah. Well, would it make him the highest played, paid player in the competition if we got what we wanted? Well, no, it certainly wouldn't. Peter, Peter what's um, Stephen done? What, 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 what was his involvement initially to incite all this? Well, I don't think. Oh, well, look, it's a fairly long, you know. Drawn out saga, but uh, where did well, he come from? What's his footy background? What? Well, um, he was doing some work <coughs> for Nick, and uh, I just, you know, finished up. But he finished up. Peter, how much? More work for him. Peter, just, how much damage could a, a manager like yourself or any mm -hmm. manager do to a player in a football club? Well, look, um, I'm I'm just doing what I'm told by Nick and Nick. Oh, come off! But no, Pete, you'd have more to say than that. No, well, well it's. Well, well, how much damage that. can you do to a club? Hold on, let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty of this. Mm. Exactly. Number one, yep. you weren't even in the arena no. going back where you quoted Nicky rang on the Friday night. Wrong. He rang on the Saturday to Ken Sheldon. They'd already re picked the team because he was not made available. So that's the first thing. But I think we've got to get down to the nitty gritty of this. He has been advised by you or Stephen Dunn that he can break the AFL contract held with St Kilda and he'll be in a new team by the November draft. Now, how are you, or Stephen Dunn, going to break an AFL contract that is there for two years? How can you assure that player that you'll have him in a November draft? Because believe me, mm. I spoke to Stephen Dunn on Friday night, he said he won't come back to St Kilda and we'll have him in a new club by November. How are you going to do it? Well, are you bigger than the AFL contract? I know you've done some pretty amazing things in life, mate, but are you bigger than the AFL contract? Well, I don't think that is the issue. Uh, well, of course it's the damn issue. Well, um, if I can have my say. Well, please. Thank you. You're not saying much at the moment. All right. Well, because you're opening your slapper. Now, you know, the simple <laughs> facts are that um, he has said to us that he doesn't want to play football, right, unless he can get the terms that he wants, which he's been promised. OK, fine. Now... If it boils down to the fact that he won't play football for this year, fine. And if he doesn't play for next year, well, that's his decision. That's terrible. That's tragic. Wow. That, that is, is terrible. tragic. Yeah. That is terrible. And I agree with that. Well, so Peter, I as think, a, what, what's as, your as job said, as a right? manager? Because well, your job you as a read... manager is to get that boy, Anson Gilder, back and get absolutely. him playing football I for the best more. interests of Windmark. Well, you're, well, you should give up and resign as his manager because you're useless. Because you can't even get to first base. Well, look, you're just yeah, saying you're the most wishy-washy, garbage, nothing you've said since you've been here. And the boys... Well, I'm not going to thanks. I'm disappointed. I was hoping you could resolve the matter. And mm -hmm. here's this young man, an outstanding athlete, not getting match payments. Mm -hmm. He's not yes. getting not getting awards. Hang on, he's not. If he could win a medal, he could win a, uh, be up in the cars or whatever the awards are. And he's down the yeah, bush, no, right. and you can't even get him back to negotiate. He should be back playing Mate, football. That is absolute crap. Isn't I mean, it? it is good that you've been involved in all the meetings that I've had had with him. Surely, yeah, right? Well, you've done nothing. You've well, achieved nothing. How would you know? I mean, look, here you are. You sit back and you throw spears. Have you allowed Nicky to go down with you to the club and sit face to face with the match committee well, look, and, uh, and, and the board? No, you have not. I would be perfectly happy for him well, to talk to you. you have to. You'll have to in 14 days because it's going to the AFL Appeals Board and Nicky will have to be there. Because if he's not there, mm -hmm. then there are going to be more serious ramifications on that. And not even you can stop that from happening. So, Molly, who will decide yes or no, Nicky, to play or not? I firmly believe that Nicky wants to play for St Kilda. I firmly believe that... I know St Kilda, as far as the players, as far as administration, dearly, dearly want him to come back. Not to mention the supporters. No, that's a load of crap. 
And you that know is it. not a load of crap at so. all. And <clears throat> if you, if you, you say to a guy, right, okay, that you can rot and that you can hang on the vine, no. and you go and dump all this thing in no, the No, that's public, not true. Well, it is. Well, you read the press, right? I mean, no, I, listen, if, unfortunately, if you are unfortunately me, well, I am reading the press, yeah. but I know I know a lot more than what the, the press are, are actually writing. They yeah. are writing, It's you are allowing, you, yeah. And Stephen Dunn are allowing this to go through the press that everyone, the St Kilda Football Club, has to read what Nicky says about about them. Nicky has to read well, in the press. You've got a club that's taken the high, you know, moral ground and said we are doing this on matters of, you know, principle, right? Over the last two years, they've trotted out 15 of their senior players who they probably even have never ever spoken to, and we're willing to trade them. But that's okay? not the case well, now, Pete. How did the matter? How, how has the matter got so far out of hand in the first place that well, the I, week I before at Collingwood? I mean, you'd never see a happier man than Nicky Winmar and the club itself. Absolutely. Suddenly, four days later, it's erupted. They stayed in my house that night. War. I mean, how can this get to such a point? It was a very simple thing. Both people have to take a step back. And and may I ask, how much is this costing yeah. Nicky to be a friend of yours and Stephen Dunn's? How much we is it costing Nicky? We are going to have to go to a break. Molly, you can keep talking. We, we're in a commercial break. This discussion will continue because it's a very heavy-duty one coming up. The grand final rematch.